Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to run JMeter from command line means non-GUI mode. Why it is required like executing non-GUI mode means GUI when you are running it consume more resource and memory and when you using not recommended to for heavy load testing for GUI mode means large applications when you are testing it's not re uh, recommended for gui mode means open this jmeter and add all the things and running it's not recommended when you use in the command line you can able to trigger one time for jenkins cid like you can able to add it for jenkins and you can able to run or else you can able to run for your local for that particular file which is the one we want to run it it will reduce the time and it's not uh, it is a good practice to do for command line it's not good practice to do for GUI mode okay and how we can able to do it and first step we have to go for command line and go to open for JMeter in bin folder come to here and I'm in a bin folder and I can able to respond here and before that we need to do one sample thing and here I need I'm going to create for one thread thread probe and uh, again I'm sampler I'm going for HTTP request and Google I can able to do for one this URL I'm going to take okay and I can able to paste it here uh, mine is HTTP one then I'm going to do for Okay, and remaining entire things I'm going to copy paste into here okay path place and I need to hit this one and verifying whether it is taking the request or not and also I'm going to do for one listener here and once I hit here it should give pass result and it is given pass result verifying this one right now I'm going to removing this one okay sure and again I'm saving this one this request only okay I'm just I'm going to bin folder I'm going to verifying for and I'm providing like command line script okay and I saved into a bin folder can come to here and you can able to see in the top or somewhere with this command line you can able to see here command line script for jmx okay now come to here and open for command prompt once you open the command prompt we have that second line is command line opening and we have to specify jmeter iPhone in it is indicates that non GUI mode. Okay, iPhone T it is a location of the JMeter script means which we are now created right. This one command line script, and after that we have to provide iPhone L lower letter. Okay, once you provide the iPhone letter is indicate that result file where it is located. Okay, and these three things we need to specify. Now come to here, JMeter, and specify iPhone N, iPhone T, and now our next target is this one. You can come to this one, and we can read this file and copy paste. And next one is iPhone L. Okay, in that iPhone L, we need to read and we need to save the file and here only i made it for result.s csv file you can able to extract and see whether it is empty or not the file should be empty okay now it is empty okay now you can come here and take this file name and paste it here okay now everything is ready just we need to hit it once you hit it will show you here creating summary and creating three successful using the command line script this one and starting for standalone 
and test and this time it is started and it's shut down and stop down and heap memory it is started okay and also it is ended now it is execution is completed you can extract this result.csv file you can able to see here our result now here see here it is provided what time and what is that and request and pass and ok thread and text and which is the one and which url we hit it and how many seconds it is taken this is the way we can able to run our scripts using our command line that's all about this video i hope you understand this my video and if you like this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel thank you